when you're buying car insurance, uh, you want to buy coverages first that are going to protect you if you get hit by someone that does not have insurance. That's known as uninsured motorist coverage. It's just like it sounds. The other one you want to buy is underinsured motorist coverage, and that covers you in the situation where you get hit by someone who doesn't have a lot of insurance because you wanna always make sure you can be fully compensated for your injuries. The next, and this is for my uh, Pennsylvania folks, uh, you want to make sure you um, get full tort insurance. Simply put, full tort, there are no limitations on your ability to be compensated for your injuries. You could be looking at less of a payout or no payout at all. You get into an accident with someone and you don't have your own insurance coverage, you still have the ability to pursue a claim against that person. You just have certain limitations on yourself uh, under the law. Uh, essentially, the law wants to punish you for not having the insurance, so they set you up as a limited tort claimant, which limits your ability to get money, so you could get less money than you may have gotten if you had insurance. If you get hit by a car, but you are lucky enough to get the license plate for that vehicle, you may still be able to pursue a claim. Now, you may have your own auto insurance and you can pursue the claim through your own auto insurance. And in some instances, if you don't have insurance, the state provides for certain claims where you may be able to be compensated directly by the state. What kind of uh, out-of-pocket or economic losses have you suffered? Have you missed time from work? Are you going to need someone to come to your home to take care of you? Um, all of those things can be monetized and there could be a dollar figure pushed, put on those things. The person who hurts you is on the hook for those things. Did you have damage to your car? They have to pay for your car. Um, and then you deal with a uh, area that's a little bit more, um, I don't want to say loose, but it's a little bit more difficult to determine and that's pain and suffering. And that's just, it's just how it sounds, the pain and the suffering associated with that pain. So I have some pain in my back. I find out I need to have surgery on my back. Um, I've suffered or, you know, I've suffered since the accident. I have pain three days a week. You can put a dollar amount on that. And you can look at older cases or cases that you've had experience with in the past to just get an idea of it. But every case is unique. So those are the... Uh, some of the main areas you look at when you're trying to determine how much a case is worth. The answer is absolutely not. The insurance companies, their job is to immediately lower the value of your claim. So they're going to want to get you on the phone. They're going to talk to you like you're, they're your friends. They're your best friends. Hey, you know, we want to just talk to you and we just want to, you know, find out what happened but they're recording everything and they'll try to back you into corners where you may give up your claim and now you're re it's recorded unknowingly. So you never want to talk to anyone without consulting legal representation first. You can find us on Twitter at Attorney Dwayne. You can find us on Instagram also at Attorney Dwayne. We have a Facebook page for Lassiter and Associates. And last but not least, the phone number is 215-923-8833. We're available for you at all times. Let us make you whole again. Rely on us and let us make you whole.